What up, what up, what up? It's the real ill noise back again with another video. Make sure y'all like, share, subscribe, turn on all post notifications, and leave a comment. Now, a lot of people have children, and the ones that don't, just live a little longer. You probably will. But see, when I was growing up, we couldn't say the word lie not in, in our house. If I walked past a church, not that I should have been cursing in the first place, but if I did, I'd say, forgive me, Lord, stuff like that. Just respect. I still do that to this day. But that's just a form of respect. You feel me? On, on one hand and it's probably less than that I, I didn't talk back to my mom and daddy for one discipline was different than, than it is now anyway so that was like an incentive for you not to be talking back or if you do you better not get caught But it seems like nowadays y'all kids just don't want to even try to respect, try to have some morals, try to have some integrity. Try to be respectful. I don't think I said that yet. That should have been first. If I did, I did. If I didn't, I still said it. Now, don't get me wrong. Y'all, y'all ready to fight. Y'all ready to fight for what y'all believe in. More than a lot of generations. In a different way, though. In a different way. And it's good. You're supposed to fight for what you believe in. But they, they're, you know, not to even pull the, the, the scripture card. But they are scriptures. And I'm going to read some of them off. I've been supposed to been did this uh, video. But there are some scriptures. That's in the Bible. That's if you believe in the Bible. If not. Then you know what? That's okay if that's how you feel. But for the ones that do believe in the Bible or believe in God, I'll say. There are scriptures that says talking back, shorten your days. Um, just how you supposed to conduct yourself as a child. Now, this wasn't the, this, in no way to try to hurt somebody's feelings or, or, or beat somebody up about how they act or how they treat their parents. But I'm just letting y'all know, um, youngsters, children, kids, toddlers, Everyone on the sound of my voice that is underage. That don't, that's not good. So, if, um, I mean, I don't expect you to listen. For the most part, I know it's going to go in one ear and out the other, but you only get one set of parents, mom and dad. Sometimes, you know what, you might get, you might not get neither one or you might just get one, but you got to make the best of that. You still got to make the best of that. You can't. 
as hard as it might be, you can't use that for an excuse to act up and cut up and stuff like that. You can't make you can't use that for no excuse. They say if you knew better, you would do better. That's what they say. How about you just do better? Because it's a learning process. You're not going to make all the right, the right decisions. Y'all growing up, y'all seeing different things, different environments. The, the world is changing so fast. I understand that. I understand that, y'all. But just be careful how you treat your parents. How you respect them. And they always say you gotta to get respect. You gotta to get to, to get respect, you gotta give respect. Your parents tell you something, just look, even if you don't agree with it or you feel you don't agree with it, nine times ten they tell you something for their, for your own good. Just don't even say nothing. Just say okay. Okay, mama. Okay, dad. And then maybe later on you can come back. And be like, Mama or Daddy, can I can I talk to you about something? This is a part of growing up. And then explain to them why you feel whatever reason that got you over the edge or made you mad at them or whatever. Why you feel that way? Try to talk it out. Instead of being disrespectful. And then the morals... The morals, like, it's like you got to care. You got to think about the choices you make before you make them. And you think, like, this is just for the youngsters. I said the youngsters because y'all are our future. But some of y'all grown-ups, they sit there and listen to how you talk to your parents. And you should be shaming yourself. So how you going to teach them if you're doing the same thing and they see you doing that? Now, you know what? Not to take sides, some people don't grow up with their parents. Sometimes they grow up with their grandparents, but it's still, at the end of that word, it's still parents. Some might not, you know, grew up with with. They real parents, but it's some role model somewhere, whether it's good or bad. But at the ultimate end, you have to make the decision of what you're going to do with yourself, what you're going to do with your life. You can't blame that on your mama or daddy or whoever was in your life. Because you know what? Sooner or later, they going to be gone and it's going to be up to you. Then who are you going to blame? You're going to have to look at yourself, reevaluate yourself. You ain't going to be able to play that blame game all, all your life. Like I said, I'm not, I didn't come on here to try to beat nobody up or, or try to tell, teach them how to be a better parent or a better child or anything like that. Because we all are doing this thing called life and there ain't no magical instructions to it. It's trial and error. But make sure that you, your good outweighs your bad. I want to see everybody make it. I want to see everybody prosper. I want to see everybody successful. But that, you don't understand. When you talk back to your parents... Or don't do what they say. Things could happen to you. And I'm not saying like being cursed. Like if I if 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 your parent tell you, okay, come straight home. I gotta go straight home. My, my, my friends, we both be hanging this Friday. It's the weekend. I went to school all week. And then you don't listen. Now both of your parents, they work at night. So they they pretty much 
they can call you and you could just be on the phone like you're at home, but you're 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 at some party or, or some friend's house or at the park, wherever you at that you disobeyed. Cause that's being disobedient. That's another one that I gotta touch on. You and you didn't want to listen, so you went on anyway. Oh, uh, they'll never know. I'll be back before they get home. Then you know what happens. Then somebody end up abducting you. What you gonna do then? Or kidnapping you, which is the same thing. What you gonna do then? Or somebody jump you, beat you up bad, leave you leave you somewhere off in the woods somewhere, and don't nobody know because you did this. And I'm not saying that to scare nobody. But it's a time and place to be a child. It's a time and place to be a kid. It's a time and place to be a toddler. It's a time and place to be a, a child. It's a time and place to be a kid. It's a time and place to be a teenager. And it's a time and place to be an adult. See, I'll give y'all a little nugget before I get off here. I'm going to try to continue this too, I promise. You know how you always tell your parents you're grown? Well, guess what? Let's have a quick spelling bee challenge. How do you spell grown? Anybody? How about you? You know, you. You the one listening. I'm talking about you. I'll help you spell it just in case. Maybe you didn't even hear me. Maybe you caught the end of this and didn't hear what I asked. Well, grown is spelled G-R-O-W-N. The last three letters of grown is own. Get it? So how is you grown if you don't have your own? That is patent it. The real ill noise just patent it. September 23rd, 2023 at <laughs> 11.52 a.m. on a Friday. Yeah, grown. How can you be grown if you don't have your own? That means own money, own place to live, own food, own clothes, own shoes, own coat. I can go on forever. Get the point? So the next time when you say that, you better you better um uh reevaluate that and, and uh, do a checklist or something to see if you got that to be saying that because if you don't have those things, I, I pretty much don't care how old you is. If you don't got them, then it, that the age don't mean nothing. But I'm talking to again the children. Now these grown people, they should know better. So I hope I reached somebody and didn't ruffle no feathers that didn't need to be ruffled. But if I did ruffle some feathers, that means I really did my job. But my job wasn't to piss nobody off. It was to motivate and hopefully I did. Somebody, hopefully somebody go, go, go hug your mama, go hug your daddy. Life is too short. Hug your mama or daddy. Tell them you sorry. Tell them to forgive you. You was acting silly. Tell them to forgive you. Tell them to forgive you for talking back. Having the last word. They're still talking back because you know what? When a when a grown per, a parent say shut up just as bluntly as that and you say but I ain't no, shut up. What that means? Don't say nothing. And if you can't do that, and that's your parents, they don't deserve that much respect. All right, y'all. Come on, let's do better now. Love y'all and blessings. <laughs>